I'm back out of the thermal drone business. I sent my Nafi thermal back. After operating for a while, it made a grinding sound, so I sent it back. After a few weeks, I thought I would try again. So I bought another one. Very similar story. Melda Nafi was quiet. I still use it in cases where people might get spooked by a regular drone. And yes, I'm really thinning on top. This video sort of illustrates the problem. If you look at the right front leg, you can see it vibrating like crazy. Now, it's sort of distorted because what you see is actually the envelope of the vibration and not the actual vibration itself. It was actually vibrating at a very high frequency with that amplitude. What you see is the actual strobe effect from it being recorded at 30 frames per second. And that results in sort of a grinding sound. It usually occurs after about a quarter or half of that battery and only occurs when you're actually doing a lot of flying and not just hovering. You can make it go away by landing it and then taking off again. But it comes back rather quickly afterwards. Now for the really boring part, as if the rest was exciting or something. These are what I see as potential failure points. The propeller blades, the motor, the motor controller, or the structure. As far as the propeller blades, the dimensions and angles were the same as all the others. They turned freely. The problem only showed up after a quarter to a half a battery. They felt the same as all the others, and there were no bends and chips in them. As far as the motor, the vibration did appear to be thermally related, but the motor turned the same as all the others with the same feel to it. There was no roughness when hot or cold with a slight fold of the motor shaft. And the bistable vibration state went away when landing and taking off again. Now what about motor control? It should be more random in nature and I would think it would probably not go away on landing and restarting. Now about structural, the joint of that arm had different resistance to it than the others. Structural resonances aren't synchronous in nature. Uh, loose con components can resonate and usually have a wide frequency range, thus the grinding sound. And it occurs after load on the joint from active flying. It doesn't occur from just hovering. Now I would have liked to have done some more troubleshooting, but I had to send it back and get my money back. Um, I would especially like to have taken it apart and seen the wear surfaces on that arm. The point I'd like to make though is that Parrot needs to check into this before they put their new drone out. The military will not be so forgiving of such a problem. Anyway, it's gone now. I learned a lot about what I could potentially do with it, and, and I would have liked to have kept it, but I couldn't afford to take that risk at that price. Anyway, thanks for listening, and I'm sorry I couldn't put some more useful content out with this thing.